Here we have one of the main products that's actually shown in the problem statement. And the problem statement indicates that the other major product is the enantiomer of this compound. So the enantiomer is the compound where the configuration at every chirality center has been inverted. So here we have two dashes and here we have wedges. Here we have a wedge and here we have a dash. These compounds are enantiomers of each other, a pair of enantiomers. Now the problem statement also tells us that the minor products retain the cis relationship at the bridgeheads. These are the bridgehead positions. These are the bridgehead positions. So the cis relationship is maintained. The cis relationship is maintained. The difference is in the third chirality center. That is what changes. Third chirality center is what changes. If we compare these two compounds to each other, we see that indeed the configuration at every chirality center is inverted. So these compounds also represent a pair of enantiomers. So the major products are a pair of enantiomers and the minor products are a pair of enantiomers. Now the relationship between these two compounds and these two compounds is as such. This compound is a diastereomer of this compound and a diastereomer of this compound. This compound is a diastereomer of this compound and a diastereomer of this compound. In other words, saying this compound here has only one enantiomer and that's this compound. The other two are diastereomers. This compound here has only one enantiomer, this one. The other two are diastereomers.